Hey guys, welcome to another episode of War Divisions and today is day two of the quick pick matches. I know in my last video I was saying pick up matches. I don't know why I was saying pick up matches. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I think I watched uh, these uh, types of PvP content a lot in JP and for some reason I was saying pick up. I just got pick up in my mind. But these are officially called quick pick matches. And it makes sense because you have limited time to pick which three units you want to go against uh, your opponent. So uh, this first team, I wasn't sure what to uh, do because I sold three lightning units and I didn't feel confident to go against lightning units. So I decided I'll just use my light team because my light team is the strongest out of all six units that I have. And it is a good idea to go with your strongest if you don't know what to do. That's for sure. But, um, so yeah, I decided to pick those three because at the very least we're light can deal with uh, cloud slashing and hopefully I can do some dodging. But thankfully, they didn't pick the lightning team. They picked Jumei, uh, Helena, and Kane, which... Normally, I still would be afraid of because light, uh, light versus dark. However, I felt more confident against the dark matchup than against the lightning matchup. So I decided I I saw this and I <laughs> I breathed a sigh of relief a bit. So uh, here, Kane Kane's the most dangerous out of uh, these units to me because he he hits pretty hard, and the warrior light's weakness is. Uh, pierce units so him being dark uh, and a pierce unit did, did not help uh, at least from a warrior life but luckily Elena's a dodgy unit and she was able to dodge both Kane and Helena's attack unfortunately Fina went down uh, but here we have Elena doing her revenge off of Fina because you don't kill Fina and she was able to knock out two of, uh, of their units and to my surprise here, Kane's Onslaught uh, uh, decimated Warrior Light, but Warrior Light was able to survive. I thought Warrior Light was going to go down for that, but he was able to su survive and <laughs> I was kind of happy about that. Uh, but it allowed me to win and allowed me to promote myself. I am going to approach uh, at least this first event for quick pick matches with uh, emphasis of having fun and just seeing how things go because uh it's it's still all new to me it's one thing to watch it in jp but it's another thing to do it yourself so now for this matchup of this person i didn't know what to make of what he was using honestly but i also made it my goal that each day i use uh, each of my units at least once in one match uh, so I decided, you know what, let me cash in that um, goal right now and use the bottom three units because I didn't know what to expect. And lo and behold, it's a double double quicken Leela team. Uh, I've heard so much about this through the grapevine, how much it is an annoying team, how much it is a powerful team. And I, I'm looking at it, it's not too scary if you could just... Um, deal with Lila real quick. Uh, I know it's easier said than done, but I felt that I had a chance, and my chance was this with the paralyzing slash. Unfortunately, it didn't paralyze. And because I didn't get the paralyzation off, my team just got decimated. And it is a powerful team, don't get me wrong. It's uh, one of those things where AoE resistance is going to help you tank the hits better. Uh, and if you want, really want to counter it, there's, there's so many ways to counter it. You just have to be mindful and try to be prepared for it. Which is kind of hard to do if you're always stuck using um, meta units. But I do wonder if I went with my light team, if I was going to be able to uh, dodge her attacks. Because that would have been in in interesting if I was able to. So now here, here is an opponent that actually had like a nice balanced team going. 
and I was kind of afraid to use my wind units because I sold those two ice units despite him having three earth units. So I decided to use my light team here because that was just a safer, uh, safer play. Uh, but I did like his team choices because he had earth, ice, and fire, and they all complement each other in some way to help with their weaknesses. Uh, so that I kind of liked. Uh, and uh, let's see, <laughs> I kind of lost the train of thought because I was gonna say something else. But yeah, the this event I am having fun with it. The, the it's just it brings about a different way of thinking, uh, for sure. Uh, but I, I hope they do this more often. Because I do enjoy it. I have a large roster of units that I want to use. I want to have fun with this. Uh, but in this match, uh, surprisingly, he went to Earth, one Ice. Because I guess he saw both of my win units and he figured I was going to use uh, two of them. And no, I just decided to go full light. And his Noctis is level 115, which told me that his Noctis isn't meant to do damage. It's more of uh, I take hits. Which I think in general Noctis is meant to uh, support damage and just take hit. To my other surprise, Halloween Ryu actually uh, miss my Elena. Now I have Halloween Ryu as well and he's a highly accurate unit, especially if you build upon it. He can hit dodge units pretty well. So this told me that this person didn't build his Halloween Ryu uh, to attack evasive units. Uh, so I wind up winning that match. But it goes to show that <laughs> it's, it's just hard to predict uh, your opponent. Even if they have something simple, it's still hard to predict. And <laughs> you have so much time to just pick your units. So here we have uh, Half Life, Half earth and I decided I wanted to give Titus another chance because I I had a feeling they were going to choose earth I don't know why but uh, I decided to go with a rainbow team to see how the rainbow aspect would work so Halloween Lila Titus and Elena and of course they chose their light team and as soon as I saw that I was like oh no Titus is not going to be able to do well um against them because he could he could take uh Jaden's hit okay but it's Yuna and Elena that he's gonna struggle with because Yuna's magic Elena's slash and they're both fast themselves uh so I wasn't too confident in this plus that Elena is doing a lot of uh is doing drain invocation and was able to knock out Lila like that like Lila got knocked out by both Jin and Elena. She, my, my, uh, little Lila is not built uh, to dodge too much. Uh, she, she's not wearing her winter coat. I made her more of an attacker, per se, like a glass cannon. So I was expecting her to die, but just <laughs> not like that. That, that's, that felt so cruel. But here, here's where I thought this match was kind of funny because. My, my Elena was going after their Jaden a whole lot. And <laughs> right here we have a four hit chain. And then she was going to go after the other Elena. I was able to dodge that normal attack. Uh, but Jaden got revived. And then my Elena decided to just <laughs> go back and attack the Jaden. Like, stay down. I told you to stay down. And... <laughs> <laughs> uh, after that, uh, enemy Elena just went for a normal attack again and got the knockout. So it was lost, but it was one that I started laughing out loud because I thought it was very, very funny. Uh, and at this point, I was like, I'm just having so much fun with these. I don't really care if I lose or win or rank up. I, I want to see how things go for the for 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 future uh, quick pick matches because uh, differently in the future. I just don't know yet. This final team, this is a person that uh, just only has three units. Uh, so I wasn't too sure how to approach this. I probably should have not went 
uh, wind units actually. I should have went with my light units again. I have to get in the mindset if I don't know what to approach, just use my light units. However, I was afraid of Ibarra. And the reason why I did use my wind units was because Elena was there. Elena had, uh, is, a, is evasive. And both my wind units can go after evaded units. So the only wild card for me was Ibarra because I don't run into Ibarra too often. But I do know Ibarra hurts. She's strong, uh, but she hurts. And she is a little bit inaccurate. However, everyone in this uh, PvP event is building their units to be uh, as accurate as possible. Uh, to go against evasion because everyone's just been talking about evasion lately. Uh, so it's, it wouldn't be surprised if people are building their units to be accurate. It was also scary because their, their, their borrow was powering up uh, really fast with a lot of her buffs. So I didn't feel confident uh, uh, going against her. I was fine against Elena because Rory like to take Elena's pretty well, and to my surprise, uh, Lila was dodging those attacks. Uh, but then Ibarra, with her range, was able to go after all three of my units, and if it wasn't for Lila dodging, that would have been game over right there. But sadly, Lila goes into uh, White Mage mode. She revised my Warrior Light here, uh, and it wasn't. It's not going to be enough because Warrior Light's going to go down to Kill Fate, and then Ibarra is going to knock both units out but anyway that's day two i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in day three laters